Welcome back. All right, so um, just kind of lost because I'm like, okay, wait, is this the first video going live that I've recorded today? It doesn't, it's all fine. Lots of videos recorded so far today. But hey, hi everybody. So we're gonna do a news of the day video for all you fine people on the internet. We're after the first period between Boston and Philly. One team played well and the other, oh, wow. Uh, anyways, uh, Yarn Croak is going to be out for a while for the Toronto Maple Leafs. He has a broken knuckle, so he's considered week to week. Week to week means a minimum of at least two weeks and is likely going to be a month. So week to week, I've decided, uh, especially since others have pointed out too, it's usually a month. So uh, Yarn Croak going to be out for a while. The good news being the All-Star break coming up. So that's one week of games they don't have to worry about. And Toronto, uh, we'll see how things go for them in Yarn Croak's absence. He's had a pretty good year. AJ Greer is going to be out eight weeks with a fractured foot for the Calgary Flames. This hurts. Uh, Greer's been pretty, pretty good for them as a bottom six forward. Good energy player, uh, entertaining, fast, and I, I think he's been a good little spark plug for them. He's never going to score big numbers, of course. We know this with Greer, but he knows his role and he plays it well. So they're going to miss him while he's out. And this is a Flames team that's uh, already trending in the wrong direction. So... Uh, we'll see how they adjust with Greer out of the lineup. Hopefully they do well, uh, but it, it remains to be seen. So, again, of the eight weeks, one of those weeks is going to be the the uh, the break. So, missing less games than he would otherwise. All right, uh, Jacob Truba has a hearing today. Yeah, he does. Uh, for an elbow that nobody saw. And honestly, it's so subtle. It's maybe Okay, maybe subtle is the wrong word for it, but it's just it happened so quickly, it's easy to miss it, but he has a hearing today, meaning it's going to be a suspension for Jacob Truba for an elbow to the head on Dorofeyev. Dorofeyev did not come back into that game for Vegas last night. Um, there was no penalty on the play either. I, I think the referees just didn't see it. Because, um, again, nobody saw it. I, I know that when this was announced this morning on social media, everybody was like, where? When? Nobody's it's it's the odd thing that people have been on Truba for years and years and years for his hits. And the one time he does something, the Department of Player Safety goes, ah, nobody saw it. So at any rate, we'll see how many games he gets. My guess is one. Looking at the elbow on the play, my guess is it'll be one, maybe two. Um, but yeah, we'll see. One thing I wanted to mention, it wasn't really being reported anywhere I saw yesterday. And again, the where I where I look, uh, various places. Uh, I didn't see that Heedle had suffered a setback in his concussion recovery. I think part of the reason why it didn't become big news elsewhere is because he wasn't considered to be that close to a return. So maybe people thought, ah, it's not as big a deal. Uh, but it, it, it is too bad for Heedle. He's been out for quite some time. Hopefully, this setback doesn't mean he's done for the year, but it could. Uh, and again, when it comes to concussions and all the symptoms you can get for a long time after... It is most important that you deal with your own health first and you look after yourself first. The hockey side of things is second. So uh, for Heedle, he's, it, it doesn't look great. And uh, we'll see how long he's out before he makes his return. Uh, it's Matt Duchesne's 1,000th game. That starts in roughly, what, five minutes time here. Uh, today against the Washington Capitals. And they're going to have a nice little pregame for it. It may end up being like the pregame for, for Mark Recchi for the Flyers that delayed the start time for a while. Which made me think, you know, I did six videos when I woke up this morning. If I had known that game was going to be delayed at its start, I probably would have just, you know, not worried as much about getting up as early as I did. But at any rate, I got all the stuff done that I wanted to get done this morning. And uh, I'm sure it was a great ceremony. Not that I got to see it because it's the Boston feed they're showing up here. So it was just all the Boston people sitting in, in the studio and talking about talking about Recky, to their credit, but not showing the ceremony itself. So, uh, yeah, uh, Duchesne's thousandth game. We'll see if I, I should be able to see that ceremony. I'll watch the Dallas feed of that one. That one I think I have a choice of either feed. Uh, Marc-Andre Fleury, uh, upper body injury. He will not be in the lineup tonight. So... Uh, Fleury's been injured on and off, and for people looking to see if he's going to get moved to the deadline, you better believe teams are going to keep an eye on this, because Fleury at this point in time in his career, as time winds down, uh, if you feel like he might be damaged goods on some level, it's going to either A, cause you to look in another direction, or B, drop down the offer you might make to the Minnesota Wild for his services. So Fleury will not be in the lineup tonight. Uh, if he's going to be out for a while, it might give him a look at Wallstead, but remember, there's a week off coming up, so... Uh, it'll be Gustafson tonight as the starter for the Minnesota Wild. 
Patrick Kane could play Wednesday. So Detroit, one of the few teams that's not done after tonight. Most of the teams are done playing hockey until after the break, but tonight's game's done. But uh, Kane could play on Wednesday. Uh, Derek Lalone saying that Sherrod is out until after the All-Star break. So Sherrod won't be playing on Wednesday. Uh, we'll see how long he's out. But for Detroit, things are going pretty well. Hopefully, uh, they continue to play well, minus Kane. And uh, yeah, we'll see if he does play on Wednesday. Uh, Josh Morrissey is expect expected to play against Toronto. So good on Morrissey. Uh, we'll see if he is actually in the lineup. Yesterday was reported he was a game time decision, but now it looks like, yeah, he's going to go. I haven't seen anything saying Velarde's necessarily going to go, but uh, all the best to both of them. Uh, I, I do hope the Jets have a nice bounce back game against Toronto tonight. It should be highly entertaining, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe in the event that you haven't already hit those buttons. I forgive you. You can go ahead and do that now. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.